for today for the Pin Up Master Course. Here is the new fresh face of the Pin Up Master Course, and her name is Kristen. She's beautiful. I said your name right, right? <laughs> Kristen, <laughs> she's, she's gorgeous. She is a professional plus size model, and I'm so happy to have her represent this course. So we're gonna get today, we're gonna get into um, some vintage aprons. I love what she's wearing right now. Um, I did her hair kind of in a 1960s way, even though she's got the pearls, but she's gonna be portraying a housewife and she's got the polka dot dress here that flares out and has the halter top. I love her red hair. I love her makeup. And we're gonna start off with what I didn't even know was my favorite vintage apron because I had to steam it. And I really love the colors and the details and the pattern. So I'm gonna have her turn around here and we're going to gonna turn either way now, front or back. So we're going to tie this in a bow. So we're just doing aprons today, vintage aprons, which I love. And I found um, a lot of these on eBay. So I'm gonna step aside, let her do a couple poses. And she has no shoes on. She's beautiful <laughs> and tall. So I love it. And of course, you know, not too many women were wearing high heels in the kitchen, but then again, they weren't wearing pearls either. So she's got the I Love Lucy and June Cleaver look and the Happy Days Mom because she's stylish, <laughs> but she still has her apron on, as you can see. So I love this color. I love the pattern because she can put her grocery list in here or the money for the milk boy when he comes by. So I love this color and especially against the red. Here is a small, a small tiny, I think that these are called cocktail um, aprons, if I'm not mistaken. And I just tie a simple bow in the back of these. <clears throat> this one's also one of my favorites. I don't know if you guys can see the details of this, but um, I'll post some pictures as well. But there's, I love the print on this and of course the pocket and the lace and it's white and matches with the red and white polka dot dress. So she's gonna show us a couple of poses in that as well. Just a little teeny cocktail. I think the, the cocktail aprons were used more for, obviously for serving and more of a stylish than the full aprons that you were actually putting flour and, and things like that and everything on. So I actually have two more of the same color. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the mustard yellow and as you can see the green is the exact same pattern and again these would be considered cocktail aprons and I'm trying to look at how to put them on and oops oh. <laughs> I was giving her a hug <laughs> giving my girl hugs so if you turn all the way that's just sure everybody knows how to tie a very simple simple bow and again I mean I think this would go good with a sheet dress or a dress that flares out a skirt that flares out um, you know a pencil skirt there's so many different skirts I think that would and, and outfits that would go with a cocktail just depending on what you're wearing which is usually probably going to be something rather stylish and these are really really old so I'm happy to see that they were all in pretty good condition. So she's gonna do a couple poses there. She can pick up the phone. You can pick up the, pick up the, the phone's ringing. <laughs> and we have all her props, of course, ready. She's got a lot of housewife props, but we're gonna concentrate and focus on um, the apron that like, and she's doing her hair <laughs> while she's wearing the apron. <laughs> hey, who knows, who knows what we housewives are actually, <laughs> actually doing at home while nobody is there. Kids are at school, husband is at work. So here's one more that I do really, really love. Again, they're all very unique and I, like I said, I'm impressed. This one has a little tiny, tiny hole here, but I'm so impressed with um, the way that these were kept. They were kept very well. Whoever wore these, I don't know if they did very much cooking and <laughs> serving in these. Um, because they were preserved very well and they all have a different pattern and different material even though they're all kind of like the chiffon what would you call this material like a chiffon kind of 
That's the uh, only name maybe I can Maybe a little satin up here. Look yeah, up there. Right here. But this is definitely like the main material. Mm -hmm. of, and I love how it has the the designs and the flowers. And this is actually light pink. So I see a couple different flaws here, but this is like 50, 60 years old, you guys, or more. So I'm very happy with my vintage aprons. And her dress is modern and her hair is like a 1960s look. So I think it's really nice to incorporate a vintage apron um, if you can get them on eBay inexpensively. And there's so many different patterns that you can choose from. So we're gonna do one more last one that has been my favorite. And there's a concept that I wanna shoot with this apron. So I love it because it's heart shaped. And of course it totally matches with what she's wearing right now. Like that one. There we go. So this could be like a Valentine's Day um, look. And in the kitchen, I think it would look beautiful. I have dark wood cabinets and I think that red, bright red would look so good. And I really like this one the most. I think this one is my favorite with what she's wearing right now, because you can still see the polka dots through it. And um, I love the heart shape. I really, really do. Love that mesh chiffon kind of look um, of the material where you can see through it. So I love, and I keep saying so, <laughs> but I love it. I love what she's wearing from head to toe. She's got her, um, her white thigh highs on and she's got garter belt and her pearls. The only thing she's missing is, is some earrings. We're going to get her into some earrings right now before I take the pictures, but I'm extremely happy with all of, um, of today's class and to be able to show you guys examples of how you can incorporate vintage aprons with modern day pinup clothing and create that vintage look and you can add all of the accessories and of course the facial expressions and the poses and props as well. So thank you for watching. I'm going to ask her to do a couple more poses for us and then we're going to be done. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so 